Hello, my name is Rachel and I had a sleeve gastrectomy on June 25th of this year. It's still 2012 by Dr. Robert Woodbury who founded Healthy Steps. I had my surgery at Sutter uh, Hospital in Santa Rosa. So this is my six month check-in and I'm pretty excited. I'll try not to go over the, the 10 minute mark. Um, as of the last video, I was telling you guys about probiotics that my surgeon recommends, but I didn't know what they were, so I talked to him. He recommends Lactobacillus acidophilus NCFM, and I'll be putting that down below. Um, it actually survives the transit, the trip through your stomach. Um, it can help prevent diarrhea in children. Uh, it'll, it'll make your overall digestion better. Uh, it will, if you have any intestinal problems, it'll return your gut flora back to normal. The other one that he recommends is Lactobacillus rhamnosus. <laughs> and I'll definitely be putting that down there too. And this has a slightly different effect. Um, it can reduce respiratory tract infection in children. And it affects your GABA neurotransmitter reception, you know, things that fire in your brain that, you know, tell your body what to do and stuff. Um, but the effect that it has on the neurotransmitters is it actually uh, reduces stress and um, anxiety, believe it or not. So that's my report on probiotics. Um, so from that, I'll go right into meds. Um, I've been on... Prilosec for five months, and that's a long time. It's really not recommended for more than, I think, about six weeks. And um, the side effects can be osteoporosis, like bone fracture, also liver damage. Um, I didn't know that long-term use could be that dangerous. So I'm back on my Pepsid Extra Strength. You know me. This is generic. Um, and I'm taking 40 milligrams in the morning, and then I take them, take it again at night if I need it. I just switched over a few days ago. So far, so good, as long as I'm not eating salsa. <laughs> um, you guys, I got my six-month labs in, and um, I'm totally healthy. I just, I could almost cry. Um my iron levels are good. Um, the B vitamins and B vitamins haven't come in yet, but everything so far looks good. My lipid profile is fabulous. Um, my total cholesterol is 164 and 200. They're happy with 200. That's optimal. But I'm at below risk for having a heart attack. And... 100 pounds ago. I always do this. Um, I was two to three times the risk of heart attack because of all the weight I was carrying around. So this truly is um, an amazing process. Um, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm still taking Actigal. Its uh, true name is Uridol. And that's so I don't get gallstones because I'm losing weight so fast. And I've been on it for like five months. I have one more month to go and I'll be glad because it's one capsule twice a day. And it'll, it'll be nice once my uh, medication is reduced. Not taking so many pills. Um, I'm still taking the Celebrate Multivitamins Chewable Mandarin Orange. And they're made for bariatric patients. I'm also taking a Citracal plus D3. Uh, of course, I have the generic, but you can compare them to Citracal uh, Petites. And taking all my regular medication, my blood pressure medication, uh, Benazepril. I actually used to be on two blood pressure medications before I started losing my weight. When I started losing my weight, last January, it's almost been a year, and when I got 30 or 40 pounds into it, out the window went the second um, blood pressure med, then I was only on 20 milligrams of the Benazepril, 
So um, as of the time I had surgery, when I left the hospital, they cut it in half down to 10 milligrams. And mind you, my blood pressure has been, you know, at the acceptable limit. They're, they're doing it right. So as of last week, there I go again, um, my blood pressure medications cut down to five micrograms or milligrams. I don't know. But um, that's a reduction of 75% on my blood pressure. And my blood pressure has just never been better. Um, I didn't realize the impact on my health that the surgery and losing all this weight would be. I mean, I knew that, okay, I'd lose the weight, I'd feel better, my health would be better, but the specifics really are, are like blowing my mind. Um, so happy camper there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this is going to freak you guys out. So I've been telling you about all the hair loss that I've had, and it's no joke. I can't, I don't part my hair straight down anymore in front. I do it to the side because the bald spot on top. And you, you can tell my hair is kind of a little dry and funky. I'll start it easy with you guys. Uh, this came out of the drain. As you can tell, they're long hair, so my hair is coming straight out of the roots. Okay, don't totally freak out. Um, my vacuum has been slowing down, like the beater bar brush, uh, was just starting to smell like smoke and stuff. This is not all my hair. Some of this is carpet fiber, but about 98% is my hair. Do, 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 do. And this part is definitely my hair. You can see how it wrapped around the beater brush and I had to cut it. Um. Yeah, that's not even cat hair mixed in because my cat has short hair, so the dander goes right up into the vacuum. I have a bagless vacuum. So, yeah, that's where it all goes. I'm sure I have a big clumps worth in my car, and, you know, I'm always sweeping it up off the floors. But you know what? I'm at six months. Um, so as my weight starts to taper off, you know, this is reversible. My hair is going to grow back in thicker and fuller than ever um, 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 so my weight loss is slowed at the six month point. That is normal. Uh, my last check in, I was 233. I'm 230 pounds, um, which is just fine. And I'm, I'm, you know, the weight loss is a big part of it, but down the road, um, it's about inches to losing clothes sizes, noticing that your body is totally changing. Example. <laughs> I lost an underpants size. Uh, these are my old size 11s. Uh, they're freaking huge. So I have a stack of clean underwear that I can't wear anymore. So I'm looking for ideas from you guys. What should I do? Should I make a quilt, um, a scarf? That doesn't sound too pleasant. So throw me out some ideas on what you think I could do with all this cotton. Um, Okay, let me show you what I look like. Uh, it's winter time here in California, so I'm bundled up in a sweater. So, we take it off actually. So you can see my flabby arms. But I'm definitely 10 million times thinner. Um, I believe these jeans are 22. These are Lee jeans. Um, I had some very favorite jeans, my Gloria Vanderbilts. I had three pairs of size 24, and they just fall off around my hips now. Um, so that's that's the pants test. If the pants are totally zipped up and buttoned up and still fall over my hips, out the door they go. But, geez, I love those pants. Um, oh, Christmas. There's my little flower arrangement that I made today, and there's my little... This is all crazy. My Christmas lights, my little tree. Um, and I'm bringing up Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Um, because I know that a lot of you are going to be eating with family, maybe going to a Christmas party tomorrow. And I wanted to give you a couple tips um, that were discussed in my weight loss group. Um, oh, this is getting kind of long. 
eat before you go. Eat something healthy before you go to the party. Or, well, it's a little different eating with your <laughs> your family. But if you are going outside from your own house, eat something. You're less likely to hit the hors d'oeuvre table or overeat uh, if you are not hungry when you go. You know, also, you know, for me, the holidays really are about visiting with people, getting to know them better. And here's a little trick that if you have had um, bariatric surgery, you know, in your glass, put some water in it and walk around and sip your water because we all know that you can't drink liquids and eat at the same time. So that's a good little um, trick. Uh, gosh, what else? Just make really good choices. You know, for me, at six months out, I don't deprive myself anything, but it's the amount. I can have a teaspoon of something sweet. I don't recommend starting on sweets if you're the type of person that tastes sugar and then just goes nuts on it. Um, I'm, I'm not like a sugar crazy person, so, you know, uh, for Thanksgiving, um, Everybody had a big plate, and I had my little plate with, like, a tablespoon of everything, and I was just totally happy. Uh, I just don't get stuck into that trap of indulging in rich, sweet things. Well, I'm not sure how long this has gone on, but it seems like long enough. Uh, thank you to my new subscribers. There was a lot this last month. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support, and uh, you guys motivate me to do my best. Anyhow... I think that's about it. So have a great Christmas and a great morning or evening, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.